stuck in there. Boop, little guy. Not too bad, maybe two pounds, two and a half maybe. But, eh, probably two. Anyways, let's get him back in the water. Big thing that helped me right there is a super smooth drag. And the torquing power of this new guy. That is the new Concept A3 swim bait reel from 13 Fishing. I got it last week and uh, haven't really haven't really had time to fish with it yet, but this thing is a beast. just realized my GoPro hasn't been running this whole entire time. Good thing I had this fish, this camera going. Anyways, put them on the scale. 314. Let's put them back. What is up guys? This is a different day than what you guys just saw. I wanted to sit down with you real quick and go over some quick specs on this bad boy. The new concept day 3 by 13 fishing. I've had this reel for just over two weeks now and I've put a couple fish on it nothing big nothing crazy and I love it so far it's taken me a minute to get a video out for it because let me just say that creativity is kind of a blessing and a curse uh, if you guys are a subscriber of the channel you watch my videos you know that I put some time into the edits and the content and stuff like that um, and I really wanted to do something special for this reel so much so that I planned a trip to San Diego um, I fished the new San Vicente Reservoir we couldn't figure out a pattern on San Vicente. Um, it was post frontal. Uh, there was a storm moving in. There's a lot of boats on the on the lake that day, and it was just a it was a hard day of fishing, man. I, I there was a lot of this. So unfortunately I was never able to put a pattern together that day and I came out fishless. I've been racking my brain for two weeks trying to figure out a super cool, super interesting video that I could give you guys on this new Concept A3 reel. And I think I lost focus a little bit. Uh, so much so that it put me behind. I'm behind on uploads now and I'm behind on getting content out. And I, I, I kind of lost focus on what the, the, the real heart of the subject is and that's this that's the real I wanted to sit down with you real quick and go over the specs of this the new concept a3 this is 13's fishing introduction into swim bait reels and let me tell you being a diehard Daiwa fan all my uh, worries or, or hesitations have are gone now having used this reel for two weeks day in and day out a couple quick specs about it they gave me uh, an 8 1 to 1 that's what I requested um, they asked me if I would like to try the 6 3 or the 8 1 to 1. Um, I've never used an 8 1 to 1. I, I have 7 3 to 1s. Those are my fastest. So I was interested to see how the 8 1 to 1 would handle. And I've used it for mainly glides and some other swimming action baits. And man, I don't think I can go back to 7 3 to 1 now after using an 8 1 because this thing has so much 
micro control over your glide a, an eighth of a turn or a quarter of a turn and you can really get that glide to move whatever way you want on the water with the eight one to one as opposed to a six three or a seven one to one so I'm really impressed with the eight one to one a lot of people are saying that's too fast for glides and I really don't think so I don't think it is at all you can always slow yourself down you can never speed yourself you can only go so fast with a six three or a a five even, you know, stuff like that. So it's a bigger offering, 190 yards of 20 pound fluoro. So that is definitely enough line for anybody looking to throw big baits out there. Initial impression too on how it fits, the curvature right there fits in your hand really nice. You can see how it kind of, you know, even for a, even for a quote unquote bigger sized reel it still fits in your hand really nice and it's fairly light they're saying that this reel has 30 pounds of max drag and that's insane that's a lot of drag what i noticed with the drag is having it set on those two fish that are on this video um it was really smooth not jumpy didn't chatter on me didn't stop and start and stuff like that it was even on a little fish like a you know three pound fish it was super smooth the whole time so i'm really impressed uh, another thing that they're saying that it has it's it's an oversized brass main gear and they're claiming that it's 37 percent bigger than their competitors say the lexa or the corrado so stuff like that so if my understanding is right even on an eight one to one high speed reel like that you're going to lose a little bit of torque so with that bigger drive gear and the finer teeth precision cut teeth i can't talk you're going to not only have more of a connected feel to the fish, which this thing does, there is absolutely no play, but you're gonna have a lot more torque with a faster reel. So it comes with a little bit oversized handle on it with the oversized cork grips on it and stuff like that. And I've never had cork grips before, but man, these things are really comfortable. They fit, the, they fit your fingers really nice. And one thing about the cork too is that it doesn't really slip when it gets wet. Uh, sometimes on my Lexa, I don't have aftermarket covers or anything on there and it's that smooth rubber and I've had my hand slip off of it before. I didn't notice that with this. Another, another cool feature that it's got that I've never had on a reel is they're calling it the beetle wing door. And on the bottom of the reel, you've got an open and a closed knob. You push that forward with your finger or with your nail, thumbnail, and you've got an attached side door on it which to me is awesome because I can't count how many times I've taken my door off on the side or had to unscrew that screw that's in the side of Alexa or didn't have a screwdriver or whatever I bent my nail trying to get my door open and stuff like that um, and this is pretty cool man you can be on the boat and pop it open real quick you can make your adjustments to the internal brake and then you just swing it back over Pop it straight back down, and you close the door. You close the tab, and that thing's not coming open. Pretty cool little feature. Um, when you have that door open, you can look on the inside. Actually, I'll take the spool out. You can see their braking system. Now, what this is, it's a one through six dial, and it's knurled on the outside of this ring. And you, there's a little notch. There's a little notch right there and you line it up with a corresponding number. I've got it set right in the middle. It's one through six. I've got it set at three and I've had no problems. Um, I've, like I said, I've cast everything from an ounce and a half um, all the way up to six and a half, seven ounces. Um, on the inside of the spool, you've got the little groove that so many spools have nowadays. So your line doesn't slide all over the place when you're starting it on there. Um, the finish on everything is super nice. Just like the Muse Black Rods, this reel is coming in a nice satin black finish, which I like. I like either toned down satin finishes like this, or I like uh, super high gloss, super shiny, stuff like that. Um, it's got what they call the arrow, arrow guide, and it's not a hole. It's not a circular hole. It's kind of an oblong diamond, almost a diamond shape. Um, and that allows the line to flow through there a little bit nicer. Another feature that they're doing that's sheerly cosmetic is uh, 
they're doing contrast cuts on everything so if you look at the inside of the handle right here it's got a nice gloss black and then you've got the contrast you know shiny aluminum you've got the same thing on the cast control knob right there and then on the drag star you've got the contrast cut everything has got the micro click adjustment So the cast control knob has micro click adjustment and then the drag knob has micro click adjustment. Little rubber stop in or a little rubber grip on the inside of the thumb bar. Engaging it is super, it's very direct. It's not mushy at all. It's got a real solid click. Click in and click out. It comes with a paddle handle and it comes with a one-sided power handle. With the paddle handle, it's weighing in at 10 and a half ounces. It's a aluminum frame with a carbon side plate. That's what they say on the website. It's a seven bearing system. So you've got seven ball bearings on the end, sealed ball bearings on the inside that are super smooth. It is trick shop compatible. If you guys are fans of 13 Fishing and have been on their site, you know that you can go into their store and they've got what's called a trick shop and you can for those of you that are into aesthetics, you guys can go in and change the color of the drag star or the cast control knob or the handle color or the uh, the cap right here for the line guide, stuff like that. You can change it out to trick it out, whatever color scheme you want. I looked in the trick shop and I didn't see the bigger spools in there yet. It is saltwater friendly and it will hold up to that. The retail price, what they're asking for the 13 Fishing Concept A3, right now they have it listed on their website for $225. So the craftsmanship on this, I, I think, is definitely a notch above uh, the, the Lexa 300. I think this is really gonna be a competitor in, in the swim bait reel market. Just so you know, just so you guys know, I've, I've had a couple comments and I've had people say, oh, congrats on the sponsorship from 13 Fishing or congrats on, you know, this or that from them. Just so you guys know, I'm not paid by 13. I'm not sponsored by 13. 13 sees the value in a channel that specifically caters to the swim bait audience. There's not any other channel on YouTube right now doing 100% swim bait stuff and they see me as sort of an unbiased review channel. And so that means that they value your guys' input, what you guys have to say about products, and they have been nice enough to send stuff like this to me so I can introduce you guys to it, and so that we can get basically a live focus group and your customer feedback on what you think about it once it comes out and, you know, hear what you guys have to say so if you guys are interested in it it comes out very soon you guys can go on 13fishing.com i will have them linked below i'll have the link directly to this reel and directly to the muse black swim bait rods if you guys have any questions about the concept a3 go ahead and leave them down in the comments uh like always guys if you guys haven't subscribed go ahead and mash that subscribe button for me right now um and if you like this video and you like the new 13 fishing products for swim baits the Concept A3 and the Muse Black series, hit that like button. Anything I used in this video, I will go ahead and link it below in the description. If you guys are ever interested in the stuff I use, in the gear I use in videos or anything like that, I always link everything I use down in the description. And the best way that you guys can help the channel out or me personally is by clicking on those links. And if you're interested in buying something, buying them through those links because it helps me out a ton and it helps out the channel um, on the back end. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate all your support. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Like always, tight lines. Yeah.